today, oh wait, hold on. Uh, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, etc, etc. Okay. I thought I would start the 2023 season off with a video on upcoming projects for the rest of the year and perhaps get some suggestions from uh, uh, you guys, the subscribers. So we're going to do other David's uh, self-powering diesel heater project. Uh, these are in no order, by the way. This is just uh, as I remember them off the top of my head. Uh, Simon's Webastodo version 3 board, which has now got the sensing via the glow plug. Um, I've got a tumble dryer to try putting the diesel heater into, see if we can diesel heat a tumble dryer and run it that way rather than uh, from the electrical heating. I've got a little uh, Honda engined pump there that the engine's seized on. I'm uh, going to try and fix that, see if I can get it running. I've got a strange Android head unit that's not a head unit that doesn't go inside the dashboard of your vehicle, it attaches to the windscreen or the dashboard. So if you've got a vehicle that you can't put a head unit in, you can still put this in and have an Android head unit because uh, we're going to fit it in Paul's Land Cruiser because the head unit is like integral to the vehicle systems and you can't change it and it's old and we'd like to have uh, Android Auto and reversing camera abilities. So we'll you that and then fit it hopefully at some stage. I've got the cabaroo to put an engine in and then put the car back together and then take that engine out and then put my good new rebuilt engine into it and run it in. We've also got a few other of the racy drifty cars to fix and put back together for this year so I might make videos on doing that just for something else to do as well. No doubt interspersed through these videos there'll be videos of things that companies want to send me that I think either I'll find interesting or can use or you'll find interesting or have friends and family that could use the said thing and find it interesting and I'll say yes so we can get the thing and give it to them and then have to spend money and we get a video of it because again I like making and editing, editing videos I enjoy the process that's why I do it uh, oh we've got uh, carbon monoxide uh, things to uh, test. I've ordered one from AliExpress, which is the cheapest one I could find. It was four pounds, and hopefully there should be a company sending a smoke alarm, carbon monoxide alarm, uh, for us to test for that. I'm sure there's other things I've forgotten. I've replied to people's emails and said yes to things, and when they turn up, I'll be as surprised as you are. So that gives us uh, at least a few videos to get the year started. And, well, why not either leave a comment or send me an email if you have any suggestions that you think would be fitting with the channel's theme of fucking about in the workshop and taking things apart. And, you know, if it's feasible and I can afford to buy the said things to make a video on it, then, yeah, we'll see if we can do that. Uh, yeah, so that, leave a comment of suggestions for videos slash projects and I'll see what I can do and oh, no doubt I'll probably have several projects on the go at once and it might even be like multi-part videos because we'll have to split them up because things take time. Uh, and oh, the astute uh, among you may have noticed in the background the weird uh, 12, 24, 240 watt diesel here has got some attachments on the top of it. These are for batteries. Because as we know, it will run on any voltage between 12 and 24, so... Ah, I can't get rid of the charger. I made a, a, a contraption. Uh, I've attached these Makita Universal uh, things on the top of them. You click your batteries into the diesel heater. And now the diesel heater is now powered by Makita batteries. This is the main battery. Once this goes flat, I've got the power supply switchery doodad. I'll leave a link and a picture of it here that you get off Amazon. Once that goes flat and turns off, it switches to this battery and it doesn't keep running. So the problem with that uh, switching module is it takes like a second or two for it to switch. But this is a good thing. 
because it takes a second or two, what it does is it turns the diesel heater off, the diesel heater resets and forgets what it was doing, then turns back on and the diesel heater goes, oh my goodness, I am very hot. And then it immediately turns the cooling fan on and cools the diesel heater down and then stops. It doesn't run the glow plug, doesn't do any of that stuff. It just runs the fan until it's cool. So it's like the gentlest shutdown you can have. And also the battle battery, bat up back Backup battery is independent of the other battery, so it doesn't matter if you're running on mains or the terminals on the back, the backup, bat backup battery is isolated until those things fail and then it kicks on the backup battery. A caveat in this setup is there's no diode protection for these modules. So if you give it the mains power, these will become live at 12 volts and if you put 12 24, 36, don't put 36 in, love of God. 12, 24 at the back, these also become live at 12 and 24. This could of course be mitigated by a, you know, a blocking diodes on the thing. Easy to put in, I just haven't done it for testing. But it totally works, if I turned it on just now it would fire up and fire away and off she goes. But that was just me uh, dicking about uh, over the new year because I was bored so I decided to stick them on. And in my haste to do such things, I realised that the handle doesn't fit once you put the batteries in, which is a bit of a stupid move. Where is the handle? It's fine when the batteries aren't there. Like if you take the batteries out, you can have your handle fitted. And you'll like, I was like, oh yeah, great. But I forgot that the batteries poke out a lot further in the back. I mean, I was only off by a little bit. If I just moved them slightly, I could... Uh, I mean, I could probably take a grinder and take a notch out the handle a little bit or just make a new handle or do away with it or something but the handle was the least of its worries but that gives me now an absolutely totable uh, portable diesel heater you just keep putting Makita batteries in it and away you go buy great big Makita batteries if you want to run time it now, any questions comments you've got on that as well just leave them down below and I'll uh, try my best to answer them for you I'll leave a list of the projects that are upcoming uh, in the description in case by the time I start editing this I remember more things that it was I was going to do this year. Uh, I think that brings me to the end of the video. Uh, as, uh, here we go. As always, thanks for watching.